Hey guys, welcome back to the No Sester Malkus channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have shared multiple times this game, Othello. It is by far one of my students' favorite, and I like it too. So not only is it a great game, it's a great game to play with the kids. And bonus fact, if you knew this, give it a thumbs up. This game teaches strategy. I mean, I can sit and give my students a thousand math problems. And you know what? Over a lifetime, maybe, but why not make it fun? So give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me. I'm gonna start off this video by showing you what's in this box. We're going to go through a gameplay and then I'll tell you what I like and don't like. So let's get going. The first thing is, of course, the contents. There's the box. Um, and inside the box, you will get numerous pieces. As you could see here, these are the tokens. They are double-sided, so you have your blacks and your whites, okay, and they flip over. And this is really, really important. And then, of course, you have the all-important instructions. And last but not least, you have everything contained in this box. So if you want to see how to play this game, don't forget to like, and let's go play Othello. Okay, so before you start off playing Othello, you need to divide the pieces on both sides equally. Now, as you could see, I did not do it equally, so don't forget to watch to the end of the video where I'm gonna tell you why I personally don't do that. Now, to start off the game, every player is going to take two pieces of their chosen color. So I'm white, I will put them in the middle in a diagonal. So it's fairly simple. We set up the game and we're ready to go. Now black goes first. The goal of the game is to get as many pieces as you can in your chosen color. Now as you could see by the way we're playing, I can only put down a piece if the following condition is met. Number one, it has to touch another piece. As you could see here, I'm touching another piece. Number two, my piece, in this case white, has to sandwich another piece. So the opponent's piece has to be in the middle. Now, the good part about this game is that if you are good with strategy, you can actually turn over as many pieces as you want as long as the following conditions are met. And so the overall game keeps playing. You just flip over, flip over, flip over, and at the end of the game, oops, that was not a good move. Um, at the end of the game, the player with the most pieces wins. All right, so for the rundown, first let me start off by saying we have multiple versions of Othello, multiple. And I would say, except for one feature, I personally like this one the best, and this is, I believe, by Cardinal Games. So the first thing I liked about it is as you can see by the board, there are spaces for the pieces. I didn't like the flat boards because you put down a piece and the other kid accidentally moves it and there's a whole big mess. So as you saw by my gameplay, you put down a piece and voila, it stayed in place. So I like that one. The second thing, it's, it's a pretty sturdy plastic. So totally like that about the game because you know what? I don't like things that are gonna break. I work with kids. So the fact that it's sturdy is a huge thumbs up for me personally. Another thing I liked is the pieces. These pieces are also pretty good quality. You hear that? Good quality pieces. And like I said, I work with kids. This game has been played at least once a week. Some weeks it's played twice, three times a day. And it's held up already for three years. So these pieces are pretty nice and I love that. So overall, in terms of quality, loving this game. The one feature that I had in a different version that this one does not have, as you probably saw in my unboxing part, <coughs> excuse me, is that the pieces were everywhere because there's no cover. I don't like how you put the pieces in, there's no cover. It's like you start the game by sorting the pieces. I would appreciate if there was some way to keep them all contained. But you know what? What we just end up doing is throwing the pieces in our racks, and then just dividing them towards the end. Now, in terms of education, one being love it, two being you decide, and three being mm, not so much, 
I give this a one. And I'll tell you why. Like I said before, I can give my students hundreds of math examples, and I do. I give them a lot of math examples, and they do great. But sometimes we spend, especially in a traditional school, over one hour a day of just doing math, and the kid's like, stop! This game, Othello, gives me a different opportunity. I still do the math, and the kids are still learning. But guess what? We do the math in shorter, maybe a half hour a day of math, and then a half hour a day of strategy games like Othello. So if you like this game, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and check the description box below because I am going to leave a link to this version, the version that I personally like. If there's any other versions you like, let me know. I'm sure you've seen that YouTube took off my commenting, so don't forget to head down below where I am totally reachable. We'll answer all your questions and comments over on Pinterest. Thank you guys so much for watching and stopping by. Happy playing.